Welcome to another tutorial about Filmora 11 version 11.6 new features. First from our list is how to import media files from other cloud storage. Go to File. Click Import Media. Select Import from other apps, then choose from the following selections. Let us try Google Drive, click on Sign in with Google, then choose the account that you want to sign in with, and click Continue. Go back to Filmora, then open the other window in Filmora. That's it, you can now add or import media files from other cloud storage. Same steps applied for importing media files in other cloud storage. Next on our list is how to do color correction using RGB curves. Drag the media file to the timeline. Note. This color correction adjustment can be applied to both image or video clip. Next is to right click on the media file. Select color correction and go to adjust. Now, you can see the advanced settings for color correction. Scroll down until you see the RGB curve panel. The circles indicates the colors, white, red, green and blue. While you can click on this color dropper to adjust custom color in your media. You can now adjust the color correction of your media using the RGB curve. When you're done, just click OK to apply the changes. The next feature that we will be talking about, is that the text-to-speech transcription now supports SRT files. For those who do not know, SRT or the subrip text file is a simple subtitle file saved in the subrip file format. First, drag the SRT file on the timeline. And as you can see this is just a subtitle file and there is no audio in this file. But because of the new Filmora, SRT files can now be converted into voiceovers. Just simply, right click on the SRT file and click text to speech. Or you can directly convert it by clicking on this text to speech button. As you can see, when you click the text to speech button, a parameter selection tab will appear. Wherein you can customize the type of voiceover that you want to apply. You can also choose from female or male voiceovers. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. And you can even adjust the speed and pitch of it. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. Now, after you customize, just click OK, and wait for it to convert and get completed. Welcome to Wondershare Filmora. Now, let us create a SRT file from a media file with audio or voiceover. Drag the media file on the timeline. Welcome to Wondershare Filmora. Next is to click on the speech to text button. And choose a language of the audio to be transcribed. After you choose, just click OK and wait for the transcription to be completed. When completed, you will notice that a SRT file is added on our media panel. And a subtitle is also added on our video clip. Welcome to Wondershare Filmora. For our last feature, we have the Timer Toolkit effect. Go to Effects, and type Timer in the search tab. Then a bunch of timer effect will appear. Choose a timer and drag it on the timeline. Adjust its length until it fits our video clip.
Notice that our video clip has a duration of 10 seconds. That is why we need to have a timer with 10 second duration. To customize our timer, all you need to do is to double click on the timer in the timeline. Now, you can adjust the timer effect. You can also adjust its speed, opacity, position, and even its appearance. If you're done, just click OK. And that's it. That is how to add a timer effect on your video. It works best for countdown timer to fitness video or more. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on our next upload.